What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Now, I just realized that I had done that last episode entirely wrong. Not exactly wrong, but I could have done something better. Instead of buying back every Persona card that I have ever used to fuse new Personas, I went back to the older dungeons and got the other Persona cards. So now I've got uh, up to about Mitsuo's dungeon worth of Persona cards, and I actually fused a few more using cards that you could pick up in the dungeon to fuse other Personas that you can find in dungeons. And sadly, while I was doing that, I got up to 75%. At this point, Margaret gives you the Velvet Pass, which gives you 20% off when buying back Personas, which is pretty nice. But now for the Personas that I actually fused, just so you are able to see them. Raja Naga, which I currently have in my deck. Nozuchi of the Moon Arcana, which is, again, another card you can get. Incubus, with his lovely little cod piece, I must say. And Succubus. And that's pretty much all I ended up fusing. So now, let's fuse some more. First, just to get it out of the way, I'm going to be fusing another Judgment Persona. Anubis. Using Unicorn, Power, and my newly fused Raja Naga, I can fuse Anubis of the Judgment Arcana. This one's actually really cool because it specializes in insta-death magic. I can totally get behind that. Sadly, I can't give it much in the way of good moves. The uh, other personas I have aren't exactly the best, so yeah. Sorry, Anubis, you're going to get the short end of the stick with this. You are my everything, Anubis. Including my friend. I don't really mind what I'm going to give it. I'm not going to use Anubis. This is going to be another one I fuse away. But definitely, if you are playing by yourself, which didn't really sound right. Anyway, when you do play, I would highly, highly suggest going back to the older dungeons and just, you know, fighting some first floor shadows and getting a lot of older Persona cards. You'll be surprised on how many different combinations you can get, and then using those combinations to make better combinations. For example... Belial. This is a persona that I wanted to get for a long time. It is a very high-level devil persona. Sadly, Anubis, Mothman, and Zhao Gongen will have to go, but I can buy back Zhao Gongen. I went and got a little extra cash, and since I have that 20% off, It'll be easier to buy back. But I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get Belial for one of the special fusions I'll be doing today. Hmm, we can basically give it amazing everything, and it repels darkness, which is also pretty fantastic. Let me go ahead and give it... Give it a little bit of everything and give it Muragidine. Belial is actually pretty good in the strength department, and it can take a lot of hits. Mm. Yeah, we'll give it Makara Karn. Why not? Excellent. Yeah, you're stuck with me, Belial. You're gonna have to get over it. Because I'm just going to be fusing you away. I actually do mind what I put on this one because of the persona I'm fusing next. So I will see you in just a bit when I get the other ingredient for this persona. I just gotta show you this because it's pretty cool what happens when you fuse this persona. This is a very, very rare persona and it only has one combination. Nebiro of the Hermit Arcana and Belial of the Devil Arcana. You can make Alice. This is probably the best 
darkness user you will get in the game. In fact, it is the best darkness user. That's why her entire name is Shrouded in Darkness. This is a very rare persona, as I said, only one combination. And I can't wait to give this thing pretty much everything. It already comes with Mamudun, Mudo Boost, and Dekunda. Why not make it a little bit better? And it's already going to get Endure Light, so we'll give it something else. Just for fun, let's give it Miragidine. There she is. Forever, you say, huh? Okay. Why not? So along with Endure Light, what will Alice be getting now? And as you can see, her magic is only going to go up from here. Oh wow, she gets Megidola, naturally. Die for me! I gotta see that! Before I do anything else. That is why she is the best darkness user. This is the highest level of darkness magic. If the foe does not have a darkness resistance, it dies immediately, no matter what. And it's for multiple foes. That's astounding. So I'm glad I have you, Alice. And now for the final summon that I want to do. I wonder if I actually have it. Nope, can't fuse it yet. All right, let me go ahead and get the combination for this one. Fusing Nebiro again, along with Mada and Obarion. Haven't seen this guy in a while. Confuse Dick Chariot. That's exactly what it is! Look at it! Okay. There was a reason that uh, people wanted me to make this one. Probably because of the way it looks. Yeah, that's not exactly the most pleasant persona. So, well, uh, let's just uh, fuse it and leave it at that. By the way, rated M for Mature. I call you Mara! Please don't be interested in me. Ah! That's kind of terrifying. Uh, it's even pulsating, too. Look at them veins. Anyway, we gotta stop talking about phallic things. Just because I have it with me, trust me, I wouldn't do this normally, but I just so happen to have a combination that works. Fusing away my almighty Kaguya, Alice, and Mara, we can make Satan. Let's make Satan! Why not? Said I wanted to make Satan, and look at that, I'm making Satan. Let's give it Mind Charge. Let's give it Spell Master. Let's see... Only weak to wind, and it repels fire and darkness. As it should. I believe I already made that joke. Let's give it... No, not Medea Rahan. I want this to be a absolute beast. Let's give it Maziodyne. And Fire Amp. Oh, I got one more. Absorb Physical. Why not? Uh, Satan, I call for you! Hey, wait a minute, Mara said the same thing. Except that I don't think it called me a whelp. So, uh, yeah, nothing to it. I'm just borrowing the power of Satan. Nah, oh, cool. Ooh, regenerate three. Not a bad move to start on. By the way, uh, also, rated M for Mature, don't look at uh, Satan's chest, he's very self-conscious about that. Hmm. Actually, I don't need Maziodyne. Endure Light. 
very, very versatile. I really like you, Satan. Don't let anybody else hear that. Yeah, whatever. Actually, I don't think I'll be needing help with SP anytime soon. And I'm very curious to see what Black Viper is. Excuse me while I uh, take a look at that real quick. And now I'm... Com it looks like I'm completely out of personas. How fitting. Satan, Incubus, and Succubus. Massive almighty damage. Wh what? There's something higher than Megadoleon? Massive almighty damage. I didn't think there was anything bigger than Armageddon. Well, awesome. So let me get a couple personas back, because I do want to rock them for a while. Like Alice. And I don't think I have enough to get Kaguya back. Yeah, that's a shame. So, looks like I'll ro be rocking Satan and Alice for this boss fight. That's pretty amazing. Not a lot of people can say they're rocking Satan and Alice. Okay. One final save, and then let's head in. I don't know if I made it apparent or not, but when you go search for Adachi Baby, as soon as you unlock the door that he's in, you get to choose where to go to. So if you want to go back to Mandala, go back to World 1, but if you want to go catch Adachi, Magatsu Inaba is your place. So Yosuke, you will replace Kanji. Yukiko, go ahead and replace Naoto. Go ahead and bring the original crowd here. And Chie, you're replacing Teddy. And by the way, we didn't go up too many more levels while I was searching for those Persona cards. I went up two more and so did Rise. But I went ahead and switched to Kanji, Naoto, and Teddy just so they could get more experience. And now everybody is at least at level 80, which is where I wanted to be at the very least. So, back to Magatsu Inaba. Oh, this is gonna be good. Adachi won't know what hit him when I throw Satan at him. That's just silly. Can't believe I'm throwing around Satan, and it's actually gonna be hilarious when we actually see what the final judgment persona is. It's pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, we are finally going to be getting out of Magatsu Inaba and Mandala, which I don't know about you, but this, this probably won't be as long as I make it out to be, but I've been here forever. It seems like these past few episodes, I have just been in Mandala World. Just collecting personas, getting a lot of experience. Just, it feels like a, almost like the, the true end to an adventure. Like I've been practicing my hardest, getting the strongest I can be. And by the way, I've noticed I'm running away from two gold hands. You will never see me do that again, but seriously, I have fought so many gold hands. That's how I was able to get all that money. And actually, if you want a good grinding strategy, I found that this works the best. If you go into Mandala, if you go on the first floor, just run around and look for gold hand shadows. And if you don't see one, either go to the next floor or go back to the entrance, go out and come back, and you should be able to find at least one on floor one. Go back to the entrance, save, that way you don't lose any of the progress. By the way, Mind Charge Megadoleons on those hands work wonders. And I believe I'm lost. Should be up here. I think that's the only thing I was getting wrong is the path I need to go. Does this go left? Yes, it does. Ah, here it is. Okay, I was on the right path. I just didn't think I was. Come on. Yes! He is backed into a corner. I Bet he didn't think we'd be coming this far. And I really love how this looks, leading up to one of the last fights. Here we go, guys. By the way, we need to get you into some new clothes. We need something battle-ready. How about... Hmm. How about I do the cheer squad. Yosuke, you're still wearing the gecko uniform. You can go ahead and keep using that. Chie, you're going to be in your kung fu costume. And Yukiko... How about... Your winter clothes. 
summer clothes. Winter. What's the difference? Oh. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Here we come, Adachi. Fully dressed and ready. Let's go! Finally. Wow. I'm surprised you made it this far. Seriously? Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. <sighs> Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates. Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? To hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! If that's not a crime, then what is? <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. You know why I applied? So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. I thought it would be fun, too. But to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud, why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff because I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! Brats like you are so damn naive. You piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see. You'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk! I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this'll make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? Come on, how many people out there actually think about what's real, or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. You don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. I mean... What could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. 
No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Be careful! I don't know what's happening! You all saw shadows as mere monsters, didn't you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world! Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way! People can't live alone. If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Shut up! Stop trying to act all tough! You guys can't even stand on your own! Unless you deny everything I said! Stupid teenagers! You have no idea what kind of shit I've been through! Favored by the world, my ass! I'm gonna say it flat out! You're just a worthless criminal! Here he comes! This'll probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got! The world is about to change! Your existence won't belong there! I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague! I'll have to get rid of all of you! I wish we could get rid of you, but we'll make sure you pay for what you've done! You're the plague! Shut up! Get lost! Get the hell out of my sight! I can't believe he's the one! Yeah, no kidding. We can't lose, no matter what! I really like how people compare him to that of just a little petulant child. It does make a lot of sense when you think about it. Okay, just checking on something. So, Adachi! Here he is! It's a strong one! Don't lower your guard! Strong one? Eh, I wouldn't really say that. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's definitely got a lot of health, and he does deal a lot of damage. But uh, let's see how much he can fare against my unstoppable team. Come on! Go ahead and power charge Chie up. Make sure she can deal a lot of damage. And Yosuke, before we do anything else, I want you to make sure that we can hit him and make sure that he can't hit us. That's the main thing I want to do around here. And Yukiko, you haven't done anything yet, so go ahead and hit him with an Agidine. I want to see what this does. Not bad. Wait. Excuse me? A persona? But that can't be! Took the words right out of my mouth, Rise. Yeah, Adachi can summon a persona, and it looks kind of familiar persona. if you got a chance to look at it. <laughs> the power of Satan! Alright, Shie, I want to see what a power charge God's hand does. Uh, of course it misses. So, Yosuke, to make up for that persona. bit of a flop of a move, go ahead and use a Garudine. 100? That's actually not too bad. Yukiko, go ahead and keep doing an Agidine. And soon we'll... Oh, come on. Curse that Heat Riser! Uh-oh. Who's he going after? Ooh, good job, Yukiko. Alright, so my basic strategy, since I wasn't able to bring along Zhao Gongen, is just mind-charged any magic that I have. Chie is going to be power-charging God's hand. Yosuke and Yukiko are going to be my support. That's mainly what I wanted to bring them for. 
Yosuke is a powerhouse. He can take a lot of hits, and he can also deal damage back. Quite a bit of it, actually. And Yukiko is going to be my main heal, and wow, that should have done a lot more than I thought. But then again, Heat Riser is currently active, so he's got a bit higher defense. Yeah, that should have done a lot more. And nobody should be weak to this, unless Yosuke. Good job! Oh, I was actually kind of scared for you, Yosuke. I thought you were going to get hit. Out of curiosity, what is your mind charge Megadole on, like Satan? 163? All things considered, I'm pretty surprised. He does have a heat riser up, so it should have done a lot more. And now it will do a lot more. Thank you, Rise. I definitely needed that. Chie, I want to see some something happen. That's so much better. All right. Now for a Garudine, since our attack is up, this should do a lot more. I said this should do a lot. Thanks, Yosuke. Thanks a lot. All right. Yukiko, this should hurt him a lot. Very good. Damn brats. Shut up and let me finish you off. Good. The Heat Riser's finally going down, which means... Oh, good! He's throwing around insta-death magic! Yosuke? I'm very glad I had... Well, I did have some uh, scapegoats in my inventory, but now I think I'm down to just the homunculus. Yeah, Adachi starts throwing around Mudoons, of all things, so he's going to be trying to cast insta-death all the time. I think that's the main reason people see this as kind of a hard boss and a pretty good final boss. But I just see it as a cheap way to increase difficulty by him being able to throw around insta-death all the time. Yukiko Chie is not looking too good, so bring her back up to snuff, please. What do you have this time, Adachi? Oh no! You better not! Okay. Yeah, somebody better wake him up here soon. Otherwise, this is going to be pretty bad. Nice! And thank you, Chie. I was hoping you would do that. Let's see, you already power charged, so God's hand. That attack increase did so much. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, Yosuke, go ahead and hit him with a Garudine. Make him pay for making you scared. Damn it! You're all such a pain in the ass! I'll kill you! Just like I did those other ones! And now he's going to start pulling out a Vorpal Blade. Very, very destructive. And thankfully, Satan can take physical hits and give me health back, which means he won't be able to kill me at the very least. Which, you'll see why that's a very, very good thing. Chie, keep going on your rampage. And Yosuke, I will need you to raise our evasion one more time. This fight shouldn't take too much longer, but just in case, I want to make sure we can hit him, and vice versa. No, we're still doing pretty good on health. Adachi, what are you doing? You haven't done much. I thought you said you were going to kill us, man. Rise, a good defense raise would be brilliant right now. Ooh, nice! There's no way I can lose. It makes no sense. I can't lose. <laughs> Ooh, my god, are dying. That's not good for me! Mm. Man! I was hoping you wouldn't be able to find a weakness. Oh, and that's just perfect. Get rid of the stat buff that Rise just gave us. Awesome! Taste my fire, Adachi! Satan's fire, actually. There we go. That still did a lot. And already he is looking weak. So, I have to take him down. <laughs> nice! Yosuke, I want to see what Brave Blade does again. I'm curious. 96 still. Okay, so Brave Blade is out of the question. Sorry, Yosuke. You're sticking with Wind Magic. Very good. Oh, another Vorpal Blade. This might not be good. <laughs> Adachi! I'm sorry, man. I'm kicking your white ass. I can't believe how smooth this is going. Come on. And knowing my luck. I actually did do a practice run of this fight and it didn't go 
as smooth as this. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Salvation just in case, because that Vorpal Blade can do a lot of damage. I say can because it's barely done anything yet. Oh boy, that's gonna hit me, and he's gonna get it once more. Unless... Oh, man. Ooh, a Power Charge. That's... That's gonna be really bad, a Power Charge Vorpal Blade? I can't even imagine. And you know what? I won't be able to imagine. Because I believe Adachi's down. Please? Yeah! Sorry, buddy. You lose. And thanks for the money. 